Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to make an incubator out of an igloo cooler. It's uh, really easy, a lot more inexpensive than buying one from the store, even though they're only $50. And this one isn't made out of styrofoam, which the ones that you buy at the store are. Pretty much all it is, is I took a circular saw and uh, cut an observation window, bought some plexiglass, cut it to size, and then used this foil tape, which is pretty good for insulation. It's what I used on the pellet stove for uh, to tape that down. Worked really well. Um, what it is inside, if you look in here, is a fan, which I used uh, three inch screws to get an offset. If you set it any lower, you really don't get that much airflow. A light bulb, just a, mine's a 60 watt bulb, and a water heater thermostat, which mine came with that plastic holder, which actually came in pretty handy. Um, oh, and I used a remote thermometer, which comes down here and gives you the temperature. You want to keep it, I guess, 99.5. Um, I don't know how much variance there is on that, but Mine goes between 99 and 100. Last night when we had the pellet stove running, it got up to 102. And I haven't seen it under 99. That 97, maybe it's not been uh, in there for 24 hours yet. So that might have been as it was warming up. Um, for the electronics, all I did for the fan was I cut the cord and used a 12 volt cell phone charger right there. Just wired that in. Started it right up, screwed it down. I bought that stand for the light bulb, um, it's like three dollars. And I used an extension cord, same thing, just wire it up. But the one thing that's it's not really tricky, which you have to understand, is that there's two wires going to that light bulb. You need to cut one and run it through the thermostat. And what that'll do is, when the thermostat reaches temperature, it's going to cut off the electricity. When it gets below, it's going to turn it back on. Now I pretty much have a oh, just went off. I pretty much have a two degree variance, which is very good. I go from uh, 99 to 100, sometimes 101. The 102 is kind of a fluke, I think. Um, also, you might have seen that there's stars on those eggs. You can kind of see them in there. Everyone else seems to write on their eggs. Just for some reason, that doesn't seem like a good idea to me. I don't know. Maybe I think it's going to taint the taint the egg inside. But um, that's what I do to use when I flip them. When, you know, I go up to it and the star's up, just turn the star down. Eight hours later, you come back, turn the star back up. Works pretty easily. They've only been there for a day. Um, this is going to kind of test how fertile my rooster is. Should be interesting. But uh, so far, it's worked great. I'm probably going to update this video when they, uh, they start actually hatching or get a little bit closer. Maybe a few candling shots. But um, that's all for right now. Thanks for watching. See ya.